So, a weird video, I'm not sure if it's weird, but about a um, planer I was making. Um, well, as you can see, it might be uh, slightly inspired. No, it is inspired by the BNG Neo 3. Come in, Puss. Hey, Puss. At least the uh, the metal it is, and uh, what I wanted to know is uh, first off if my CNC is able to mill steel. I'm sure it's not able to mill steel, but this is sheet sheet metal, and uh, I thought for a very long time that would not be possible at all, but apparently it is. But it doesn't sound great, so. I know my machine is not really up to the task and also sheet metal is quite it's not it's not easy to work on because it's so thin and you cannot clamp it or, or whatever you cannot screw it down so you have to glue it to something and then mill it not ideal but I think I'm pretty glad with the result in the end uh, yeah I did like use some sandpaper that's why the surface is so crappy This is one of those designs that I didn't uh, think through enough. Uh, as you can see by the amount of captain tape here. A lot of stuff went wrong, but I kind of fixed it because I wanted to know what it did, of course. So, if you're familiar with the Neo 3 PDR, it is a tweeter and uh, you can cross it at around 2K, I think, something like this. And uh, yeah, well, it ha has sort of the same basics. So, when I removed the one of the one of the pull pieces, oh, don't get in there. It's very magnetic. I used our uh, stainless steel screws, but not nuts. So, if I remove this spacer, you will have this. And actually, this is kind of, without the orange tape again, uh, kind of the layout of the PDR-3. Funny things to notice is, I'm not sure if I can zoom in without make it too ugly. The light is kind of annoying, but it's it's the way it is. Maybe, no, it doesn't help at all. Um, so this is the membrane. And since I used 9 micron aluminum foil laminate, uh, it ended up in... 8 ohm DC resistance but actually if you measure the impedance impedance sorry it's like 9 point something and it stays around this uh, value so it's rather high so I need thicker aluminum foil to, to do this that's not a big deal I mean I have it but uh, I started off with this one um, I'm not gonna remove the orange tape at this moment but they did some weird, weird kind of thing. Um, so yeah, the current is is going like this. That's the way it's supposed to be. There are three magnets. But what they did is kind of weird. They also have one track that is going the opposite way. My idea is, and it might be really, uh, it's it might be a really good idea, on, but it doesn't really work for me. Um, is having this one track going the opposite way to prevent uh, this piece of mylar move that much because and that's the reason why there is tape right now uh, it will inc it, it will first of all it will uh, <laughs> give you some distortion and secondly it will give you this weird dip I'll show you in the image this dip is quite annoying 
when I apply this tape and I'll show you the next measurement this dip is gone so this is the reason why this dip is here it's the sides well and you could say well then just make the membrane smaller but that increases the resonance and the PDR for instance um, has a lower resonance than the normal NEO3 because of this reason uh, it's one of the reasons uh, it also has less output and that reason is because this one uses three magnets the PDR this is not the PDR of course this is my my one uh, my version but the PDR uses three magnets and the normal NEO used as you would expect five magnets one here one here one here one here and one here that's why it's far more efficient like 4db more efficient almost but the intent of the PDR version of the NEO3 is, is getting better dispersion I think and getting the resonance <coughs> a little bit lower so you can easily cross it instead of a huge hump at 2.5k so you have to cross it way way above uh, and I think that PDR has a resonance of 800 or something and mine has 600 so um, yeah so you could make this smaller then the resonance will go up you could add these magnets here but then the dispersion will uh, suffer a little bit because a bigger surface area is emitting high frequencies and what they did here is this row and this row of coil is driven by two magnets so it's in a good magnetic field even field but these rows sorry it's off camera this row and this row is actually only driven by the magnet that's sitting here and here it doesn't have the other magnets on the other side of this coil which is kinda weird I think I'm not sure if I like it the thing is they wanted to have a stronger field in the middle so it will emit most of the high frequencies so it's dominant so there's a small emitting area that is dominant and then there's these sides that still do something but uh, less less than the middle part uh, and also I think um, lower frequencies ha have uh, I believe less of a problem of this a bit smaller field than the high frequency so I think they kinda tune it like this to be able to have a smaller area play high frequencies so nice idea I think but the only problem is you have to damp it really well in this area that's why I got the tape here they have some sort of foam pad behind the membrane uh, where normally the magnet would sit but yeah I am gonna try I think to add these two rows of magnets and see what it does um, my efficiency is lower the PDR3 has 90 dB efficiency mine has for one watt uh, mine has uh, 86 dB efficiency that's partially because of the magnets they are These are the magnets that are in right now. These are the ones that you would expect in the in the neos. It's a three three millimeter thick, three millimeter wide, and fifty millimeters long. Also, this is N fifty two, and the other one is N thirty eight. What's up, Puss? She wants to eat all day. So yeah, <clears throat> here are the connections for uh, the coil. And I had to drill huge holes in this metal plate. After the fact that I CNC this, these holes. To uh, be able to um, attach this. So overall I could, I could have designed this a little bit better. But yeah, well it's gonna take uh, probably a few iterations before I 
uh, did everything the way I want. Normally I would like now get some paper and write down the stuff that I fucked up right now. Then I would make it again and I would probably find other stuff that I fucked up and write it down and fix them until your list is clean. That's my uh, way of working, I think. Uh, well, the PNG uses only this metal. Uh, it even um, this frame. This is uh, HPL. They don't use it. They use the whole metal thing, and it's it's like banded in shape, uh, probably pressed on a die. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you could nicely let a laser cut this all these holes and such if you have a strong laser a really strong laser by the way or well just have to pay for it let uh, someone else do it but uh, I was surprised by how insanely cheap this stuff is actually I think this metal and I bought it in this size because I knew I was gonna make this panel and my CNC does not like to mill steel, so I thought I'd do only the holes and these holes and the rest I just cut off, that's why it's kind of shitty. Um, I used an angle grinder to do so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this piece was one meter long and I had two of them and together they would make for eight panels push-pull eight of these panels on steel and the price was uh, merely three euros and eighty cents I believe or maybe two what was it maybe even two eighty so really nothing actually so this is like uh, I don't know ten cents or something uh, let me see, no, a little bit more, 15 cents? The metal that is. Um, well, these magnets that I used are uh, tiny, but also really cheap, and um, uh, I like the size. But I would like to have a little bit more output. 90 dBs will be great. About this track that's going in the opposite direction of, of the track, um, like the track should go to have a movement. This is going uh, in the opposite direction, so it will create an out of phase signal. I'm not sure if this one is working. I might need to make one without it and, to s and see if there is any difference, if it does anything. Uh, if not, then this is just this is just a waste of, of well effort. Uh, I can imagine that putting a tape on, on here also helps. And I believe they have it in the PDR version. They have a piece of tape here. Um, yeah. So these are uh, eight ohms, so quite quite high. Uh, so I'll have to take different laminate and redo it. I also made frames like these. This one broke. Also not not so nice to uh, to be able to use the three millimeter thick magnets and see what it uh, does in the output. I think I'll think I'll at least gain a, a dB or maybe even two dB. So I come closer to this nine dB, uh, ninety dB. But yeah, um, this is funny. Uh, they have felt on these magnets, on one plate only, so not on the mylar bearing thing. Um, I try to put some more uh, here where there are no magnets. Not sure if it worked. I think the tape did all the work um, to remove this um, dip. So this could actually be cut off, but this felt uh, is needed to damp the resonance. And I'll show you a picture of a measurement with this stuff and without this stuff uh, and also uh, it's quite hard to find but this these are like these napkins these wet napkins to clean whatever you got like hygienic uh, napkins toilet clean napkins th these wet things in, in a bag if you dry them out 
so you evaporate all the whatever crap that it's in there you will end up with this fuzzy stuff and it's not paper I'm not sure what it is something in between but it does work as dampening without hurting the high frequencies so that's cool and it's thin enough to put here without it touching the membrane so yeah still uh, I'm gonna probably redo it I like the idea I mean it is it has too many components right now and the screws here to attach the terminals are too big what has to do with the terminals I bought I could not find one with a tinier hole so this is already a bit sloppy these terminals have five millimeter holes I would like to have three instead of five and I use four millimeter uh, uh, stainless steel I would rather use three because this head is quite this hat is quite big so yeah I have to countersink a lot and as you can see <laughs> because it's on the edge you can break the material quite easily so yeah cool cool little project I think it's uh, interesting and um, yeah, it comes down to uh, fiddling some more, I think. Uh, I would try to see if I can make an overlay of the original PNG Neo PDR and, and my version and see if they kind of uh, look alike. They well could, but of course I, I had to get measurements for from like PDFs and videos, so it, it's probably not completely accurate, but what I do want to try is add these magnets on the sides so you will get the normal NEO instead of the PDR version in terms of uh, dispersion but I think it might help and there are other ways to get this better dispersion uh, one of them is just leave, leave the magnets or attach this kind of tape that is a little bit heavier and because it's heavier it doesn't emit high frequencies so you will lose a little bit in the low end as well but at least the whole thing is driven more evenly so I might want to try that instead of this configuration I can't imagine they did it because it saved them four magnets or two magnets for them because they used the bigger ones but uh, who knows so yeah, have fun. I'm gonna take a little bit of dinner and play some games. There drops on the floor. Well, it can take it, you know. My tape uh, failed, I think, but <laughs> I didn't have a good battle for it, so fuck it. <laughs>